Welcome back to the Dominic Dahl Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray. Joined now with Stevenson men's ice hockey head coach Dominic Dahls. And coach, entering last night's game, your team had gone to four straight overtime games, three consecutive ties. Get back in the win column with a 4-1 victory over Canton last night. What did you tell your guys going into that game? I mean, that's like, we've just been trying to kind of stay the stay the course. I, I think even going back in the late last semester, we were playing well, um, and even with the the tie, like those are good teams. And I mean, we were pretty evenly matched in all all four of those games. Uh, I mean, you go back to the Utica game; it's you know a, a tough break at the end, and we, we end up losing. The Nazareth game was a very good one-one hockey game. And the two games at, at Fredonia, I mean, I, I think the four times we've played Fredonia in the history of Stevenson hockey, they've all four games have gone overtime. So um, it's a pretty even matchup and, you know, one bounce of the puck either way is going to determine it. And that's, I think last night, that's what we were, we started to get that we haven't been getting is kind of the bounce of the bounce of the puck and, and just putting pucks to the net and finding ways to go in. Those pucks haven't been seeming or haven't been going in for us. Um, the past couple, you know, going, again, going back kind of the last semester, the past four or five games, and they did last night, and that, you know, that always helps. Yeah, a couple of the younger guys are starting to put the puck in the back of the net. Liam Walsh, I think he has four points in the last three games. He, along with Xavier Abdella and Aaron Murray, all scored their first career goals last weekend. I think kind of the bigger eye-opener is – the older guys Mike Davis hasn't found the back of the net or has a point in the last six games Jordan Watt uh, broke his five game scoring drought is it they're just doing different things or the ice or something they just need to start get going again I mean in the case of Mike if you look at the past two games for Mike I think he's had more opportunities than he's had all year and they're just they're again they're just kind of not going in and that was kind of the funk that the, the team was was in um, and it's 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 a tough one because they, they are getting chances they are getting opportunities it's just um, you know, the puck's got to go in early in the year. They were going in. Everything was going in for those guys. Um, so it's it's them just kind of staying the course and doing the little things and, and getting around the net, and that's they'll find it. I mean, I, Jordan, that was a big one for him. I mean, he just threw a puck at a net last night, and it, it goes in. So, um, you know, hopefully he can kind of build off that one and, and go. But we need, you know, we need other guys scoring goals too. That's, that's important. Yeah, looking ahead to this weekend, you have Brockport and Geneseo at home. Brockport struggling a little bit, have dropped six of their last eight. Geneseo ranked eighth in the country. It's going to be your eighth time playing a ranked opponent in your one and a half years here at Stevenson. What do you have to do this weekend to get that signature win? I mean, we just need to play well and, and play a complete uh, complete game. Uh, I mean, we've if we defend well, we'll give ourselves opportunities at the other end, and that needs to be our, our focus, and then we need to – take care of the, the special team side of it I mean even with Brockport um, I mean they've played some some very good teams here in the past couple of weeks uh, they're a they're a pretty quick small skilled team and and we need to um, we need to make sure that we are defending well to take away their opportunities and give ourselves opportunities kind of going the other way and then with Geneseo uh, I mean we just we, yeah we I mean they're going to be pretty high on skill so slowing them down in, in transition and and you know not giving up too many odd man rushes will be a, a big thing for us. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck, and we'll see you back here next week. Sounds good. Thank you. For Coach Dominic Dawes, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been the Dominic Dawes Show.